All right, today we're doing a classic French pan sauce, butter sauce, the Beurre Rouge. Uh, hopefully you check out the site, you get all the details. But here we go. A very few ingredients. Uh, we have a shallot that I finely minced. That's one large shallot. Quarter cup, I'm using a white tarragon vinegar. Half a cup of very high quality red wine. And half a stick of butter. Okay. Now since this is a pan sauce, we got to cook something in the pan first. So this is key. I have two beautiful dry aged ribeye steaks. I season them well. Uh, you know my trick. I like to put a little vegetable oil on the steak, not in the pan. And I'm going to sear those for about five minutes per side. I like a medium rare. And we're going to build a fond. You've heard me use that term many times. That's the literally the foundation of the sauce. This is why you don't want to use non-stick here. Okay? You want to use your steel pan because we do want that uh, meat juice and protein to caramelize to the bottom. All right, so we're going to go about four or five minutes on that side. By the way, the pan has been on medium-high heat the whole time, all right, because I want to build that fond, as I said. I'm going to take out the steaks, remove those to a warm plate, and we're going to get ready to build our sauce. Now, what I want you to do here is turn the pan down to low, okay, and then you're going to add your one finely minced or diced shallot, and we're going to take just a little bit of that butter, all right, so that was a half a stick of butter we started with. We're going to take off about, I don't know, a teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons, add it to the shallot, and give that a saute for about five minutes on low heat. Now, a couple things are happening here. Uh, the butter and the sh liquid in the shallot is going to start to deglaze your pan, all right? Also, we want to get a little bit of color on those shallots, a little caramelization. That's going to help the color of the finished sauce. One fatal flaw of a Burr Rouge is if it turns out pink. It's just not an appetizing color, uh, and I'll talk about that at the end here. So that was about five minutes, you see. Uh, fairly well browned, not burned, not black. All right, and I'm gonna add my vinegar, okay? So again, the heat's been on medium, low. Actually, I said low, so uh, if you wanna turn up to medium here, you're probably okay. You do not wanna burn this vinegar. So to be safe, you could leave it on low. In the restaurant, we're gonna crank it up a little bit here. Now we're really deglazing. This vinegar is going to reduce almost till it's gone, okay? If you burn it, you're starting over. So be very careful. So mine is on medium-low heat here. It's going to take, I don't know, maybe uh, two minutes to reduce down almost till it's gone. You'll see the bottom of the pan, the fawn has completely been released. And we have just a beautiful base for the rest of the sauce, okay? Now at this point, you're going to grab your half a cup of red wine. All right, in a perfect world, this is the same red wine you're gonna be serving with the steak, but not necessary. Just use a good quality. Do never never use cooking wine. You've probably heard that a million times on TV. Stay away from that. I don't, I don't know why they still make it. So half a cup of red wine goes in. Now you're pretty much safe to turn that heat up to uh, medium high. And you, go, and you wanna reduce this uh, red wine mixture by half, just by eye. Doesn't have to be exact. Uh, in fact, you could stop now, put the butter in, it'd probably still work. But what you want is a nice uh, uh, viscosity to the sauce, a nice thickness to the sauce, a richness. So you'll see there I'm down by about half. I have about a quarter cup left of the red wine. The heat is now turned off and slowly, chunk by delicious chunk, you're going to drop in your pieces of butter. And it's not going to take long because you're only, again, using a half a stick of butter all together minus that a uh, little knob we use to start this. And you're going to whisk that in. Again, the heat the heat is off, but there's plenty of heat in the pan, and that butter is going to emulsify beautifully into this sauce. If you want to think of this, we're basically making what's, in essence, a warm vinaigrette. You take a, a cold vinegar and whisk in with a little bit of mustard olive oil, you make an emulsified sauce. Okay, This is a wine reduction and vinegar reduction with butter as the fat being emulsified into it. So really same principles here. Uh, and again, a lot of details on the site I'm sure you're going to read, but there you go. So we had our nice fawn that we deglazed with the vinegar and the shallot. Our white, or sorry, our red wine was reduced, and then we did the classic uh, finish with butter or Monte Burr if you want the official culinary term. And again, it only takes a minute or two to whisk in all that butter. All right, what will make this break is if the pan cools off too much and you try to add your butter, and then you turn up the heat, that will separate it and you'll have just a, a grease slick. But if you follow those couple steps, you shouldn't have much of a problem. 
Now here's uh, where you got to decide if you're doing uh, country home cooking or if you're going to do go fine restaurant style. I put in a pinch of uh, salt, test for salt and pepper. I had a lot of pepper on my steak, so I didn't need pepper. The decision you have to make here, are you going to strain this? See, country cooking, home cooking, yeah, you see me? I spoon that right on there. I, I don't mind the shallot in the sauce. It's not going to bother me. In a restaurant, you'd lose a Michelin star, okay, if you didn't strain that. It would be horrible. They'd uh, you get laughed out of Paris. Okay, so now let's talk about the color. All right, you don't want it any lighter than this. I mentioned earlier, pink is not good. Some insane chefs actually add a splash of cream to this, and they get what we call in the business, les sauces Pepto-Bismol, which is what it looks like. Pepto-Bismol is disgusting. Don't do it. You add cream to this, uh, we can't be friends anymore. All right? So anyway, uh, you want it to be a beautiful, deep, rich, uh, passionate, burgundy, rusty, dark sauce for red meat. All right, don't be fooling around with any pink sauces. Uh, and that's it. I really think you're going to enjoy this. It's great with any red meat, as I said. Um, some people put this on fish. We'll talk about that in another demo. Okay? But give this a try, and as always, enjoy.